A university is more than its formal curriculum. It's also the set of experiences that students create for themselves. And it's those experiences and traditions that give texture to a university experience. At Ohio State, we have a lot of great traditions, and many of these traditions have stood the test of time. It comes by a group of people getting together and brainstorming and having common ideas and common interests and common love, and all of a sudden, something that becomes a passing thought becomes 50 years later a tradition that goes on and on and on forever. What makes Ohio State Ohio State is its traditions, and that's what makes this such a great community to be in. People want to be a Buckeye. It's an amazing thing to be part of Buckeye Nation. A lot of the traditions at Ohio State were born in the late 19th, early part of the 20th century, and they came largely from the activity of students. For instance, literary societies, to read and discuss literature, and also given where the university and where society was at the time, it was a literary society just for men, but then women developed their own literary society. And that was the way in which a lot of what we think of as campus or university traditions, they were born from these kinds of student activities. Football games are just huge traditions. It's hard to ignore thousands of people showing up around the city to cheer on the Buckeyes. The tradition of Script Ohio, that's a huge part of the game day tradition in itself. It's one of our fine traditions. Everybody wants to be the dot in Ohio. The first band member to dot the eye was a trumpeter, and I think it was four games in or the fourth time they did it, that's when a sousaphonist was the first to dot the I, and of course that is the tradition. I'm still blown away every time I see it. The talent of the marching band creating Script Ohio, creating their incredible halftime shows. No one ever leaves the stadium because they want to be a part of this experience, and that experience is something that cuts across generations. My favorite buildings on the Ohio State campus is Orton Hall. The building was built with this beautiful bell tower, which was empty. And the bell tower remained empty for 20 years. It was actually the class of 1906 that wanted to leave as their class gift money to purchase bells to put into the bell tower. And so they started a chimes fund and they collected money from their class. Several successive graduating classes had as their class gift money to the Chimes Fund. And so by 1915, they had enough money to purchase 12 bells to place in the bell tower. It's one of those traditions that has transcended time, space. I think it's a tradition that brings a lot of pageantry and is bringing people together around this theme. Orton Chimes complete the oval. It's what I associate with a sort of collegiate experience. The War of the Ropes began in the spring of 1975. There was a challenge that Park Five put out to some other residents about a tug of war, two floors. And it included as much ceremony and pomp and circumstances as we could muster. 
brought us together as a floor. We had a coach, we had a team, we were a unity. There was some competition and rivalry between five and 10 for a long time, like 40 years. After uh, we were out of school for a few years, when we started our first reunions, we talked about creating a foundation, making an endowment to the university to fund a tug of war every year. We only had two conditions. Whoever won had to spend the money on the floor, and number two, to receive it after winning, they just had to do a community service project as a floor. We all thought, what a great experience we've had and how important it's been to our lives. What if we took that back to these students so that they could attempt to achieve the same kind of relationship? I've been back to many of the tug of wars and you can see the enthusiasm and you can see the floors where because of preparing for this, it's helped develop relationships beyond where they were. It's nice having that competition, but I think seeing what has happened with the alumni is really inspiring. And so hopefully I can take what they've taught me from this experience and continue on to keep those relationships with my residents for as many years as we can. I think that this tradition lets students like myself connect with alumni in a way that we've never been able to before because we all have something in common. We're all residents of Park Stradley Hall. Traditions will persist and new traditions will form as long as the collegiate experience is understood as a distinct time of life or a distinct period of life. You can see our traditions and our histories everywhere you go. In many ways, they tell us who we are, where we come from, but sometimes we have to evaluate them. Sometimes our traditions limit us. We began to put ourselves in a box, but sometimes tradition, when we evaluate and we recognize that we're more than just the things that we hold dear. As our university attracts more what we call non-traditional students, new traditions will form. Now with social media and the innovations that students bring, we see traditions sometimes emerge from individuals that traditionally may not have had any hand in those traditions. I think today the, the traditions are changing with the different things that we're able to do as current students at Ohio State compared to what's been possible. We're starting new traditions, we're doing brand new things. Buckeye Thon is a student-run organization that has a mission of fighting childhood cancer since about 2001. The dance marathon started with about 100 students in a gymnasium around campus, just dancing and fundraising for the kids. They raised around $30,000 that year, and now we look at it 18, 19 years later, and we're raising over $1.7 million a year. There are about 120 general body members who are students who are behind the scenes making the dance marathon and everything related to Buckeye Thon happen. In addition to that, we end up having over 5,000 other students who register to be a part of this movement who want to come to the dance marathon. And from that, we end up getting around 30,000 donors who are donating to our cause. So there end up, ends up being thousands and thousands of students, parents, family, friends who are ultimately a part of this tradition and movement. When I think about tradition, I think about ways that people come together. That can be an OC football game, it can be the Buckeye Thon Dance Marathon, but at the end of the day when I think about tradition, I think about people together. At Ohio State Mansfield, one of our most important initiatives is to help our students feel more like Buckeyes. For the last five or six years, we've had our own homecoming court, and it's been really fun to watch as the students, they just love this experience that they get. And it's not just about the six students on the homecoming court, it's about the other activities we have on campus that bring together a lot of students. We had events all week before the homecoming game. 
I feel like it's brought me closer to the campus, actually. I feel like I'm more connected with it by going through the process of homecoming and being on the court and getting to know the court members as well. It's a positive experience for me because I'm putting myself out there uh, in leadership roles and I'm representing the Ohio State University of Mansfield. I'm really struck by how many students want to attend Ohio State because they want to be a Buckeye. And I think what it boils down to is to immerse themselves in our traditions, to go to a football game, to go to a skull session, to listen to the band, to feel Script Ohio, to hear the Orton chimes. Exposing students to those kinds of traditions that generations of Buckeyes before them have participated in just makes them feel part of that family and helps them to immediately build some allegiance to our university. I could be anywhere in the world and someone might say OH if they see that I have Buckeye gear on and that's a unique connection that you don't find anywhere else. It shows that the institution is more than bricks and mortar. It's an attitude, it's a disposition. It's a way of life that you bring when you're part of the Buckeye experience.